Troy had left school minutes earlier, down there, walked up this road. We've obtained a video surveillance tape that may possibly uh, show um, Victoria Stafford on the tape. It matches her description. Yeah, like, it matches her. I was watching the video the other day, and <clears throat> I've always had kind of like a, that walk kind of looks funny, like the stride she takes. Allegations of drug charges and that we owe $20,000 for drugs. Like, these are things that are being passed around. She, she's safe somewhere. I mean, she's obviously with somebody she doesn't know or doesn't want to be with. Like, I, I feel that there's something wrong, but I feel that she's safe. Maybe she's just at a friend's house and forgot to call home, you know? Like, sometimes kids do that. They thought it must just be somebody who's nuts. Bottom line, it's somebody who's crazy, saw a beautiful child and said, I'm going to grab you know this that, one. And, and you know, it's Bill Renton of the Ontario Provincial Police Criminal Investigations Branch. At my request, he will be assuming the role as a major case manager. We're now considering this case a child abduction. What do you think about police now calling it an abduction? It's about time. Please just bring her home. You cannot imagine how we are feeling and we are missing her so much that it hurts. Look into your soul and find the compassion to please just let her go and let her come home. Thank everybody for coming. First of all, I'd like to thank the media. Ara, do you recognize the person in this sketch? I've been staring at it all night and I don't have a clue. Now I can put a face to the person that has caused so much hurt to my family. Imagine, I don't know if you have kids or if anybody here has kids, but imagine having to sit back and watch your child be missing on America's Most Wanted. <laughs> Limo driver got out, snuck through these backyards, knocked on her door. Limo's driver said, there's someone who wants to meet you. They explained that they had been under similar circumstances and there was a ransom that was asked for. Are you asking me if the people in the limo Correct. were police? I believe she's alive and I know there are people that share that belief. I'll go, with, I'll go in front of these cameras every day if I have to until Victoria is home. One of the many things that keeps me strong and keeps me fighting is the thought of holding you in my arms and smelling your hair, stroking your little ears and hearing your sweet little voice saying, I love you, Mama, and I missed you. I just need you to be strong, baby, and have faith that we are coming for you and we will never, ever give up. And together with all of the people who are touched by your gorgeous smile, those humongous blue eyes, your beautiful blonde hair, and the mischievous little twinkle, we will bring you home. Every one of these media, every one of those police You've officers. You've been at them now, but where were you for the last nine years? I have told years. them everything from the beginning. Yeah, walk away like usual, Tara. This morning, 18-year-old Terry Lynn McClinic and 28-year-old Michael Rafferty, both of Woodstock, appeared in Woodstock Provincial Court. It takes a big man to take his frustrations out on an eight-year-old girl. Like... Personally, I think it's a way of a big man being a pussy. Do you know, if I actually thought I knew what was going on, you shit, you actually think I'd let it go on? All you have to do is look at her. You know what I mean? Like, people have discussed her personality. You'll see videos, like... Just remember her because she was the prettiest, most beautiful little girl in the world. I miss An OPP officer, an investigator assigned to the Stafford investigation, discovered human remains here just east of Mount Forest. We are hopeful that those are in fact the remains of Victoria Stafford. 
and the reason for that is we want to be able to bring her home. On April 30th, Terry Lynn McClintock pleaded guilty to first-degree murder in the death of eight-year-old Tori Stafford and was sentenced to life in prison. Mr. McClintock, you got anything to say? It's very important that everybody keep an open mind and everybody not have a rush to judgment. Hatred. A lot of hatred. Um, not just for me, but for my family, for, for the nation, to be honest. There's only one person that would be able to tell the truth, and she's not here to be able to talk for herself. So I, I think we're going to get a run around all the way through this thing. I didn't want to see it. I can hear her calling my name. My girlfriend, yeah. No, no. no, I wouldn't consider it. But her mom jokingly said that yesterday, surprisingly. And her mom was like, ah, oh, it's Terry Lynn's boyfriend. I was like, I don't think so. Girl, you killed. All right, she's not missing anymore. She's dead. I didn't do anything. Well, that's not entirely true. Either. That is okay. entirely true. I First of all, my son's innocent. Terry Lynn McClintock has wrecked our lives. Be justice for Tori. That's all. That's all. I wanted to scream. Scream something in the courtroom, but we just couldn't do it. Um, the happy excitement, but at the same time, there was a sense of loss because Tori's not coming home. We believe that justice was done, and it was all for this little girl right here. Not just Tori, but for every little child in Canada that doesn't deserve what happened to her. Hey, Victoria! Yeah. Woo!